Now we're gonna show you how to reassemble our eight-inch filter. We start off by reassembling our secondary filter, inserting the spring inside the center of the filter. The valve then goes inside the center of the spring, and then we need to install the valve seat. Again, making sure that all the threads are lubricated with oil before we reassemble. Simply insert the valve seat back onto the secondary filter. I like to get it started by hand, and then you can finish it off and get it hand tight. Next, we need to install the secondary back into the primary filter. Again, making sure all the threads are lubricated before we reassemble. Once we've got the threads lubricated, you simply insert the secondary back into the primary. What's nice about the primary is it's not directional. It can go either way. So once we've got the secondary threaded back into the primary, just get that threaded in and hand tight. Next, we need to add the inner filter pack back onto the base plate. Again, we wanna make sure that our threads are lubricated with oil before we uh, reassemble. Once we've got the threads lubricated, simply thread the, second, uh, the inner filter pack back onto the base plate and again, hand tight. Next, we're going to install the cooling cover back onto the base plate. And uh, first, we need to ensure the threads are lubricated with oil. Once we've got those lubricated, we simply thread the cooling cover back onto the base plate, which is sometimes tricky. Once we've got that started, we're gonna use the tool to completely seat that cooling cover back onto the base plate. The way we know that the base plate, or the cooling cover is completely uh, installed back onto the base plate is there will be no gap between the cooling cover and the base plate itself. That's how you reassemble the eight inch filter.